Now we're working on the lower half of the dress and I'm going to continue where I left off um, using titanium white and Indian yellow. Again, almost opaque. Uh, just enough matte medium to make it fluid. This is what it looks like on the palette. And I'm just going to go along the edges here and really refine the edges and also lighten them up a little bit so it has that nice um, sharply defined edge where it's appropriate. We don't always want to have sharply defined edges, but in this case, when we have a contrasting value like the dress and there's a very strong light on it, then it's appropriate to have the uh, very harsh edge, very crisp edge. And I'm going to get this highlight moving across some of the forms of the wrinkles. Again, studying the reference photo for where it ought to go. I don't want to put it in areas where I detect the value is a bit darker. But just over those lightest areas. Right here, this would be a little lighter. There's a wrinkle kind of coming down. I didn't, didn't really add the um, darker values to support it, which would be just a slightly darker than white gray, but I'll have to add that in a little bit later. For now, I just want to get these really nice light tones here. Um, I think this is going to be catching a lot of light on the top right there. So we're adding that highlight in. You might see a little bit of brush texture on your canvas, that's okay, as long as it's not excessive. Add a, just a bit of a highlight on the edge of this wrinkle here up against her hand and let's see there's going to be a wrinkle going up on this highlight here we have a crease by her knee gets a little lighter by her knee and there's a few little divots in here it's not as smooth as a kneecap would be if it were just her bare knee showing and not a knee covered by clothing uh, that actually should be a little darker. This area here is catching some light. A few little wrinkles there. And let's see. This spot here should be a little lighter. Looks like it's catching quite a bit of light, so I want to get that form in right there. Previously I had it a little too dark, so I might have to go over it with another layer. That's alright. In the back here there's a couple folds that are almost pure white. So just go over them a little bit. And I'm just going to go over this part too. Even though it's not pure white, I'm just going to graze over it really lightly and just lighten it up a little bit. Just lighten it up a little bit. Get the slightest little nuance on it. And then I think on the bottom I need to hit that with a little bit of a highlight as well, just across. Right here there's going to be a sharp point on where this shadow here of her shin, her lower leg, uh, meets the crease. And where we have that point where the value shifts, it's got a very light highlight on top. So we want to capture that. And then right up against the edge of the pavement, pavement excuse me, another very light highlight. I think even right here be a little bit of a highlight there as well. All right, right here there's a bit of a highlight. I want to capture that. Might be a little bit of a reflection and right here as well. And it gets a little thicker at this point. You want to 
add a little more of a wrinkle there. Now let's uh, let's segue into some slightly darker colors. I'm going to take what was on my brush, mix into some of these lighter grays, and get just a few little nuances here. So right in here, a little bit of a nuance. Um, it should be just a bit darker than what I had it. And let's see, right here, it's going to be a bit darker. So we're going to get that established. I'm going to darken the just the top part of this wrinkle a little bit. Use my finger to blend that out. Um, there's a tiny wrinkle here that I want to darken a little. And let's just smooth out this whole section. I need some uh, raw sienna to warm that up so it doesn't get too cool. Going on top of that gray. So since I'm taking a lighter color over a darker color, I do need to warm it up and add some raw sienna or it's going to get a little muddy. So I'm adding that raw sienna there so it can go on top of the gray and not get muddy. I'm just smoothing that out. Basically just smoothing out this section. And let's continue this actually. Take a little raw or dark ultramarine blue and pull from this darker mixture and let's add that to this um, darker part of the knee on the other side. So here we're going with a semi-opaque glaze and just kind of smoothing it out. Now I'm going to smooth this out here into top section. Alright, there's a little bit of a highlight across the bottom for whatever reason. We'll just put that in there, but it's not as light as what I had it. Okay, it's a little darker over here on this side. I want to make sure I capture that. bit of a darker section as well right in here. I don't know if I can do this in this layer or not. We'll find out. Maybe I can get that in on this layer. Just darken that value and it's going to blend out. I'm going to wipe something off of my brush here and then now I can blend it into what I already had on there. It's kind of wet on wet. Let's add a little bit of a darker spot right along the bottom. Ultramarine blue, or or dark. Mix them together and we're going to add just a darker spot along the bottom right there. Okay, um, I know this might sound a little unprofessional here, but I just have to stop and give the Lord thanks as I'm painting. Um, I just realized, you know, earlier today I was having uh, kind of a sore throat and kind of a scratchy throat and it felt rough and even a little burning in my lungs and then, you know, part of my mind was thinking, um, is it COVID-19? And um, I stopped and I asked the Lord to heal me in Jesus' name. And then as I'm painting here, I realize that 
I don't have the scratchy throat and I don't have that uh, feeling in my lungs. It's gone. And I say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing me. Um, and I know I'm doing this video right now, but I just want to stop and give the Lord thanks for his healing. And I tell you what, if you're an artist and you need some healing on anything, ask God. Ask God, because Jesus is still healing today. And you can ask Jesus to heal you, or ask God to heal you in the name of his Son, in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When he was on this earth, he went around doing good and healing people. And he is still healing today. And so if you need healing, um, ask God. And if you want some help in uh, praying, let me know. I'd be happy to pray on your behalf as well or pray with you. And you can shoot me an email, message me, get a hold of me somehow. I would be happy to pray with you um, for healing. But uh, you also can ask God yourself and he would be happy to heal you in the name of Jesus. So just thought I'd mention that because it just occurred to me, I don't have the scratchy throat, I don't have the uh, pain in my bronchial tubes, and I just say, thank you, Lord, for healing me. All right, I'm going to continue on here. And let's see. We're going to add a little bit of a darker value right there. I'm just going to continue this dark shadow, add a little more romber dark to get this value going up into that bottom fold of the dress, almost as dark as the pavement. There we go. That's what we needed, something like that. All right. That's good. Well, I'm going to stop here in this video. And let's see. Uh, we're going to continue on, I think. In the next video, I'm going to work on her sandals. Um, so we're going to put the little gemstones or jewels or whatever is on there and uh, kind of make it a little fancier. So I will see you in that video.